Hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? We have some clothes to take to the clothes bank, so I thought I'd bring you with me because there might be some vacuum cleaners. Normally is, let's have a look. Hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you? Here we go then, pull out of my parking space, drive up the road, how's your Saturdays going? Mine is productive, we have been tidying up upstairs, making everything clean and tidy, we've had a big sort out of all of our clothes, God, my camera's not liking that's driving, is it? Come on, out of the way. It's not a funny turning point. Stupid Range Rover. Honestly. Come on. It's not far. You can walk it a bit less faffy than driving, but it's not with two massive bags of clothes. So I'll come out here. Onto the bypass. Cool, what is going on? Maybe it wasn't such a good idea if it's all blurry, sorry. I never tried filming whilst I'm driving before, there we go. Who knows? This may not be any good, this video. One just cannot tell. Yeah, I've had a few vacuums from here before. We've got Heavy Extra, which you can see on Instagram. We've got a DC24, I've had two DC24s. One you've seen, one we used vacuum of the month last year. The other one was missing loads of parts, really wasn't worth even caring with. I gave that to Stuart up at Manchester Max so he could break it for spares and save me a job. Right, well we're turning left here to go into town. Busy round about this, so hopefully we should go straight across, yeah. Yeah. This is the sort of main way into the town I live in via sort of the big roads, Aylesbury, Smith and this road. And this is where we come to go into town, so we'll keep driving around. I hope there's some vacuums now. I look onto all the time, all the truck doing this, so I just want the savings anyway, so it's not the end of the world. Great fun to go across, just in case somebody's screaming out of it. There we go. Here we are, we need to go around the car park. Try not to run that lady over with her dog. This is where the Royal Mail dump all their vans over the weekend. Just around here. Oh gosh. This is where we want to go. Crikey. I can't immediately see anything, but we've got to take all this out anyway, so you stand by and I'll get them in the bank.
And look at that, look, we found, without its bin, a Dyson. What sort of Dyson is it? It is DC40 ERP, no bin, but with its both its tools and its hose and its floor head, which is actually quite handy because I have need for all of those parts. So, done. Job job. Let's go up into town. Well, we are in town. Let's go up to Sainsbury's to show you how we drive to Sainsbury's. That's very good actually because I've got a DC40 that may or may not work and it needs its tools. And I've got a spare hose, a spare brush for head if it works. It's actually quite nice to find stuff like that that's in bits already because then I don't feel bad about trying to get it all fixed and working and back together. There might be some other stuff there, I don't know. It's a bit busy though, it's more of a job to do late at night. Oh, come on. Oh, now you indicate, thanks for that. Yeah, well, I'm So yes, that's very good, that is. Pleased with that. So it always pays to go up. Maybe, do you want to make this semi-regular? As in every now and again, I'll pop up and see what we can find. Because it's always good for a gig. Well, I've had a few things from there. And the cables chop. We'll have a look at this Dyson in a second when we get home. Come on, over you come. But yeah, this is Tame High Street. Come on, it's not, this, this isn't actually a zebra crossing. Now I've let one person out, many more people are coming. Go, 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 run the children over. The problem is you run the park in here and there's no spaces. Oh, we're gonna come all the way up here, look. This is the end of the road. Actually, this roundabout here is the road that we were on. We just turned off it. We want to come down here. like a nice discovery but you've got to weld to own one and I can't weld so I don't want one <laughs> go 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 gadget go thank you very much indeed sir so all the way around the back look it's warm in here now over the speed bumps now And I shall go shopping and see you back at the house. And here we are back at home. What have we got? Well, we have almost a complete Dyson DC40 ERP. There we go, look. Although what's particularly handy is, oh gosh, look at the state of that. We have both of the tools. That one looks like it's hardly been used. So that's good. Also a tool holder. They're normally missing when you buy a cheap one. We have a brush roll, which seems very good. It's even got its felt pads on. So that's fine. That's nice and spare. We've got, some, got the hold of the recline mechanism. So that's good as well. 
quick check of the post filter. Get the grip on the thing. Come on. These aren't one handedly easy, are they? There we go. Ooh. <laughs> mm, that's probably going to be put in the bin. That's been used for DIY. But it doesn't really matter because I'd imagine that the motor works absolutely fine, although we're not going to check it now. The motor will work. Oh, we haven't checked the hose. But, well, ready, I'll save myself a tenner because I need those tools. So, it's actually very easy. I haven't got many newer spares for newer Dysons. So, this is quite handy to have. We have a filthy but non-torn hose and a good chassis. So basically, I, I, I quite glad it didn't have it cyclone. If it had it cyclone, I'd have been, because of the unique way my brain is wired, compelled to give it a go and fix it up. But it's actually quite nice just having that for spares because we can stick it in the shed and I can just. Oh, um, uh, there's the head for the other DC40 that I've got. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's leave it outside <laughs> for a bit. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, the crappy Hoover whirlwind's just fallen out. Oh, there's so much stuff in here. <laughs> it's not great. Oh, I'm trying to do this whilst holding my phone as well. Gosh, I need that box. <laughs> it's up there. Let me see my X1s there. This is what's coming up this year. That Hoover Whirlwind, I've done nothing with. That, that works very well actually. I've been using that for the car. There's my lovely Goblin Rio. There's my Cibo X1. Oh, I don't know what else I can show you really that you can actually see. There's that Tesco bag machine. There's a Bissell Flip It. But you can see that there, there's my DC40 sitting next to name that tune. I have to have one. And back we had that Electrolux Z2000 in those boxes there are two N Heil vacuums. Yeah, this is the state of my life. This is why we had oh, our New Year's resolution, which. I can say I haven't both because it's not a complete vacuum. This is why I said no more until I've got this shed pretty empty. Oh, I want that box as well. <laughs> this is the... There we go. Look, there's even that's got a motor in it, and it, it should be because it's outside. But that's an easier so There we go. So. Nice bin find episode. Did you like it? There's the Hetty base. That's what I found the last time. Henry's in there. So there we go. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. We might do it again. Might make it a semi regular thing, maybe. If you didn't like it, say we'll never touch it again. But for now, I'm going to put the shopping away and. Hoover this place, vacuum this place even. My video hasn't finished encoding yet. So, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you soon. Happy Saturday. Bye bye.